What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today's going to be a really weird episode because the first like three to five minutes is going to be me live on Sunday night whilst completing the Bale SBC and then the rest of it is going to be me on Wednesday taking comments from Tuesday and Monday's video because I'm so far ahead because of all the packs that we've opened um, that I want to address comments on today's video as and when they come. So that's what we're going to do. So obviously this team of the year has been exceptional. I've built my team. It's not going to be full chem. I think I'm going to get to 96 chemistry, which is actually going to be very, very good for a lot of things. Um, but I am going to do bail. I want to do. I want to complete bail. Show the squad. Open the three packs that I've got. Take you around the club. Show you what's what, and then get into at least one foot champs game. Uh, depending on how many I play, maybe more foot champs games. I really, really don't know. Um, but I've done all of bail already, except for the last segment, which I've also done. Now I was. I started VVD. I'm not going to finish him. I, I just don't think. I don't think the 400,000 coins needed from this point onwards is is an, a good investment into my club because that 89 Van Dyke is never really going to feature. And so what's the point of having him? Um, I wasn't going to do Gareth Bale. I decided to do so because I need I want to have fun. I like I have I wanted to find the right balance between being efficient and having fun. And whilst this Bell SBC is, is not great value for money, that is fair to be said, it's not great value for money, I love Gareth Bale. He is one of my favourite players in the game and in real life. Uh, his UCL card for me was absolutely unreal. And um, it's very li unlikely he'll get a, a future team of the season. Now, although he does have a team in a group stage that's 90 rated, which means his next inform will be 91 rated, the likelihood of him getting a 93 rated card anytime soon is super slim. And so I'm more than happy to take this bail, use this bail, and abuse this bail. So I've done all of the other squads. Uh, this is the last one. Most of this is untradeable. Uh, no, maybe not actually. Tradable Alisson, tradable Bernardo Silva, tradable Naby Keita, David Lopez, uh, Carver Howell, and uh, Thomas Pina are all untradeable. Uh, Juan Mata, untradeable. And then a few of these other guys that we just got from packs over the weekend. Now, I was going to show you guys every single pack I got. I decided against it because... It, it it was a lot of packs and not a lot of great stuff in packs. Contrary to the icon, icon well, yeah, the icons that I've completed and the team of the years that I've packed, I've opened a, a crap ton of packs and I actually haven't got many good things other than the two team of the years. Everything else has been really low end. I've I've got like a few low end informs, very very few walkouts. I got Tony Kroos. and Isco only one time from about four hundred to five hundred uh, La Liga packs. So it hasn't been, <coughs> excuse me, hasn't been great in that regard. But that's not for me to say that I haven't been lucky because we have been extremely lucky. The two players that we packed right now, I think player prices are going up a little bit. We packed Kante, who has a value of 2.6 million on um, the PlayStation. We packed Varane, who has a value now up at 1.9 million on the PlayStation. He is he has fluctuated massively. He was down really low and he's spiking up i think everyone's like now the team of the year is almost done people are kind of buying the cards back up again so that there in itself is is quite good uh we completed balak who has a value of 1.8 million and we completed george best who has a value of 1.8 million as well on top of that we've completed this gareth bale who it would probably sell for around 1.5 million on the market it's an exceptional card it's a truly exceptional card. I'm very excited to get this one into the club. Uh, and then on top of that, um, I've got 3.5 million coins in coins, which is great. And I'd probably argue I've got still about 1.5 million coins in equity. Uh, and then on top of that, our team is... Wait, found your... Where is... Hello? What happened to my Gareth Bale? What happened to my Gareth Bale? There he is, the butte himself. Um, so we're going to put a maestro on him. Um, or a marksman. Ooh, what do I want? Do I want maestro? I wish I could see this in game without having to like t check it out on Futbin. But uh, so a maestro will make him... A marksman will make him a 95 centre forward, a 96 striker. A maestro will make him a 95 cam, which is where we're going to be playing him. 
Uh, we're going to be playing on the right cam. So we want to go for that maestro, which is kind of what I wanted in like in any any regard. So maestro on to Gareth Bale. Uh, he goes in there. Very nice indeed. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. That does get us up to 96 chemistry and actually 97 chemistry. No, he's on 10, isn't he? Yeah. So we, we get up to 96 chemistry and we've got a bench that's great. Some reserves that are great. After that, I actually don't have all that much in the club now. I used a lot of special cards, like I said I was going to. I have still got um, about three pages of special cards. So what's that? One, two, maybe two and a half pages. Yeah, three pages of special cards. Now, obviously, Facer and All Right don't really sell, but three pages are otherwise. So, and, and with Loris and, and a few of the other high-rated informs, there's probably around like 400 to 500,000 coins in special cards right here, which is amazing. I'm still going to hold on to those for a rainy day. I don't really have much by way of golds, but we definitely have some. But in terms of uh, our, actual, our other special cards, I still have the 89 Bale, which is really stupid of me. I was supposed to use him in one of the squads. Uh, but we now have an 89 right rated card for future SBC. Um, we've got Goethe, Sterling, McTerrin, Alonso and Koke. And, and then I don't really have all that much. I already go down into the 85s and into the 84s. Of course, now with the two icons, uh, there you go. That's all I have left, really. With, with the two icons, we can now use Tierney at left back. So our squad looks like this. And I just want to give a quick look at the custom tactics that we're going to set up. So we're going to be on 4-2-3-1, drop back and fast build up. Our player instructions, uh, let's get our formation set up first. So we're going to have Balak and Kante together in the midfield. George Best and Gareth Bale on the wings, or rather the wide cams. De Bruyne at central cams, Zlatan Ibrahimovic up front. I know what you're probably thinking. Every, like loads of people off chem, uh, not, really, uh, not really ideal. I've also got a balanced, I've got a drop back balanced uh, squad. Let me change this around as well, just so that I can go into the other 4-2-3 if I need to which is great. Uh, I know I can get better chem out of this. I can play Aubameyang up top and that would give Aubameyang and De Bruyne the chemistry and then I could sub Ibrahimovic on. But currently I have Ibrahimovic on seven chem. Or is it, yeah, seven chem? Yeah, seven chem. I am going to get him up to eight chemistry. I'm just, I need to get the MLS manager league basically. So we're going by that now. That actually won't impact the chem of anybody except for I will have to then move Bale down into a right mid. Um, but other than that, everybody will still get full chemistry. Oh, there's his, uh, there's his uh, custom image. Um, yeah, so everybody will get full chemistry. De Bruyne will be on seven. Casillas and Ibra will be on eight. And Best will be on six. But even with six chem, Best is still beast. So yeah, I'm playing off chem a little bit. And you know what? I don't care because the team itself is just amazing. It, it's really, really good. I'm really, really happy with it. We get a small rare gold players pack from the Gareth Bale SBC. I'm really not expecting any anything here. I actually don't even know if I'm going to invest more into this, um, you know, these upgrade packs and stuff, because I've I've had my fill. I'm content with what I've got, and for me to really have a good chance of packing another team of the year, whether that's Neymar and Mbappe or whether that's Modric or Ramos or whatever. It, the likelihood is just extremely slim and it's extremely tedious to build these packs and they're now super expensive. They're, it's like 800 to 900 coins a card. So you're paying almost 10,000, 11,000 coins per pack instead of the 7,000 coins that we were paying before. It's just not worth it at this stage. Uh, so that, guys, is the squad. Um, that is my club. Uh, the the reason why I've still got, as I said, the, the equity in the club, like the, the 1.5 million or so, Obviously, we've got maybe 400 to 500,000 in certain consumables, uh, sorry, in players, in, in special players anyway. And then outside of that, I've still got, and these things are selling a little bit more now, the position modifiers, I've still got 300 of the center forward to cams. They're currently selling at 2.5 to 2.6, and they're just going up. There you go, 2.4 bid. This is what we've been waiting for. So at 2.4, I would be able to make... 750,000 coins off of these 300. I'm going to wait until they go up to maybe 3.4 and that'll put us like another million. But even with just these, if I sold these at 2.4 and sold all of those special cards at around 400,000, that's like another 1.2 or so. So we're, we're easily well over 1.5 million in equity in the club, which is great. We've got 3.5 million in coins, which is great. And this is our team, which is great. Uh, so I'm going to go and get into some games, guys. 
and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, as we go into the gameplay, the first team we come up against um, is this team called Real Madrid, a pretty weak team. Um, just to give a little preface of what's going on in the video, because you're watching this on Tuesday night, these are for Champions games. Uh, I ended up getting to 11 wins. I actually ended up going 11-0 after playing some sensational FIFA that you're about to watch here. Um, and uh, I, I didn't know how many games I was going to play. I didn't actually think that I would play many games of Foot Champs this whole weekend. However, um, I got so bored <laughs> of doing the upgrade packs. It was so mind-numbingly boring that I just had to play games with this brand new team. So, of course, we've just completed the Gareth Bale. And uh, he is unreal. I am so happy I ended up doing him. Because he is, he is just special. There, I, I couldn't find a thread on Reddit, but uh, one of the viewers in my chat said that there was a thread on Reddit suggesting that Team of the Year players, including the nominees, have a unique jumping animation. Um, I, I don't know how true this is or anything, but you will see from the goals I score that my Team of the Year players, specifically that Bale nominee score a lot of headers I, I've never I, I think I scored more headers and more crosses in this 11 game period genuinely than I have done for the entire of FIFA 19 put together until now um, so I was delighted to have done that Gareth Bale and it's given me a new passion to just play FIFA um, I, I'm, I'm ready to grind this game again you know I've got an absolutely insane team obviously Ibra and Casillas we could talk about that in a bit because I have got some comments. But on that note, I have got a lot of comments that I want to get through. Um, Murillo says, I like how Nep has such good pack luck that he just expects all walkouts to be blue. It's not that I expect them to be blue. Don't, don't, when you see that walkout symbol in a league upgrade pack, aren't you sitting there thinking, please be blue? I just was. I was just like, look, I, just, I really, really, really wanted Mbappe or Neymar. Um, but at the end of the day... My team is sensational anyway, so I don't really care. Um, I don't really care. Luke, this team of the year has me excited for team of the season. Hopefully more great stuff comes before then. By the way, bear in mind that it's really easy to make coins, so don't feel bad when you spend a lot. I actually agree with that. I, I keep looking at my account, I, like, and, and I get caught up in this thing that, I, that people t like kind of do on stream as well, and I explain to them, hey, don't worry about it. You'll make more coins. Like... I'm getting caught up thinking that the 3 million coins now that I've got left in the account, because I've only got 3 million coins in the account, plus the 1.5 to 2 million in other sellables, I sit there thinking, damn, that's all I've got now. But no, especially if I'm enjoying the game and play more, I will, cr I will start you know, generating 100 to 300, maybe 400,000 coins a week, depending on how much effort I put into the account again. If we go hard again on bronze pack method, on consumables flipping, on uh, informed investing and stuff, we could easily make another half a million a week with fuck rivals and fuck champs rewards. So that's not a problem there. Um, and yeah, you know, the, it, 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 you are right. It's, it's incredibly easy to make coins this year. And also, when Team of the Season comes around, and I, I, like you say, I know it's you know far away, uh, but when Team of the Season comes around, and look at this, look at this jump from Bale. Look at that. What is that? That's outrageous. He scores so many goals like that for me in this video. Um, yeah, although Team of the Season is far away, Team of the Season is actually a really, really cheap promo in regards to what you can afford for how cheap it is if you remember last year a lot of absolute top end players especially the festival of futs and stuff like complete end game players like 30 to 50k so it's like whatever you know what i mean it's whatever um i want to have fun now I, I think i think we we got like fifa 17 we got caught up in too many sbcs FIFA 18, we got caught up in not enough SBCs and, and we went too far into the, I'm just buying players and that's it. And in FIFA 18, I've just swing, sorry, FIFA 19, I've swings and roundabouts. I've gone so deep into SBCs only. Then I've gone into no more SBCs. I, I want to use the meta players and then I've gone back to it. And it's just been a bad, it's just been a bad cycle. So yeah, any player that comes out now that I can do, that I want to do, I'll do. Um, so that's, that's where we are with that. And uh, I, I also am excited for Team of the Season, but it seems like with this new promo that's coming Friday, they just released the cards, by the way. If you go and back out and back into Ultimate Team, you'll see the new card design. It looks like a brand new thing, like a brand new thing. It's, this isn't something we've seen before. So a lot of people are thinking it might be record breaker cards, ratings refresh, or one to watch cards. It's not. It's something entirely different that we have literally never seen before. And that interests me, but at the same time concerns me a little bit because... The, there's going to be more great players that I'm going to get and not know how to put into my team or how to fit into my team. 
Um, and that's that's going to be an issue. And we'll get to that again in a second. But uh, Demule says, Nep is just completing prime icons left, right and centre. I loved that comment, by the way. I'm glad that got the attention it deserved and got a whole bunch of thumbs up. Um, because it was a brilliant comment. I really, really was. That tickled me. Uh, Johan says, Hey, Nep, can you please make some gameplay with Zlatan? And do a review before his SBC is gone. Keep up the amazing work. Do his SBC. Worst case scenario, right now, I don't know what it costs right now. I don't know if it's gone up or down based on the uh, team of the year being out of packs. Uh, according to Fatbin, Zlatan is 210 to 220,000 coins. The reason why that's amazing is because you will get back a 50k pack and a 55k pack, which is great anyway. And if you save those for Friday, this Friday coming, happy days. It's a brand new promo, so that would be great. You can open them for that. Maybe you pack one of these new players, whatever they may be. Uh, the second thing is, is because he's 92 rated. So even if you hated him and you never wanted to use him, the cheapest 92 rated card on the market, which obviously you could put in uh, to an SBC to really dramatically reduce the cost price of an SBC, the cheapest 92 rated card on the market is going for 260,000 coins. So that's what kind of value he has outside of that. So I think the, the price of Ibra is just fantastic. I think he's a great card to play with as well. A lot of fun. Uh, Valentin says, the Icon SBCs are way too expensive in my opinion. What are your thoughts? I actually don't think they're too expensive. I, I think based on how good they are and, and how good you can see me play with some of these Icons here. Um, and as aforementioned, how easy it is to make coins. I actually think they're probably more reasonably priced than I gave them credit for earlier on in the game. Especially due to the fact that EA are giving so many other alternative players to play with throughout the course of the year. For me, it's it's actually just that I just think they're very well balanced in terms of price, if I'm being honest. Um, the double A says, can somebody thoroughly explain Icon Crafting? How much coins you need to start? Because I really want Rui Costa. Sadly right now, dude, without the League upgrade packs, Icon Crafting is kind of irrelevant. There was a lot of like... Uh, discontent about the icon crafting video that I made and, and the fact that people were just you know promoting this icon crafting system <clears throat> a lot of reddit threads were made up calling it a scam and saying that YouTubers are working with EA to try and get you to lose your coins and stuff the whole point of icon crafting isn't to get icons for free or to do icons for profit because I don't even think that's possible even if you had crazy good luck the purpose of it is like a, co a combination <clears throat> of you wanting a good chance to pack blue cards and then also create and complete icons for less than you would normally spend on completing them in the meantime. It was more to do with the fact of, hey, I'm going to build loads and loads and loads of league-specific packs because I want to try and pack blues. In the meantime, I keep getting loads of duplicate 83s, 84s, 85s, so let me put them into the icon SBCs that I wanted to complete anyway and reduce the cost of what that was going to cost me if I didn't have these League SBC packs. Uh, like, you have to be extremely, extremely fortunate to do the icon SBCs for a profit or to pack the blues. It was more of a, like, just a, a more efficient way of using your coins and using your players rather than a guaranteed profitable system that will give you icons for nothing and team of the years along the way. I, I, I don't think that that got lost in translation in my video either. I think I was very clear with that. Um, but that's where we're at. Um, so even right now, there, there's no point doing icon crafting right now because there's no league specific upgrade packs and they are pivotal to the whole reduction in value of the icons. Stefan says, this road to glory has been such a success. Best road to glory in FIFA 19. You have four mil in the bank and so much money in fitness cards, etc. Go for Bale and have fun. Keep up the good vids. I went for Bale. I had fun. Look at that again. Another header from Bale. He just scored so many. He scored so many, and uh, yeah, you're right, man. It's time to have fun. It is time to have fun. Um, Bubble Boy says, why don't you change the first owner road to glory a bit so you can buy players that you've packed and already sold? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I do consider that. The problem with that is, is then it wouldn't be a first owner card. I like, I just like to show, like, is, is, this is a massive ego thing. Not even going to try and lie. It's more about when I say, hey, guys, I've packed all of these players... And then I can show or, you know, created, crafted all of the players. And then I can show, hey, look, this is first owner, Prime Hullet. Obviously sold him now, but first owner, Gareth Bale. First owner, N'Golo Kante, team of the year. First owner, Varane, team of the year, etc., etc. Uh, I just I just like having that. And, and if it's a full SBC squad, it's kind of less – it kind of loses that uh, little touch. Because it's like, yeah, they're all first owner, sure, but you just you just created them all. You didn't pack any of them. But the fact of the matter that I've constantly had pack pool players in my team throughout the course of the year has been great. I've enjoyed that. 
Ethan says, I completely disagree with your opinion on the foot swap deals at the moment. The Dembele card with a shadow is the best non-icon CDM in the game at the minute. You have to remember, most of us don't have Team of the Year Kante and Balak. Dembele is better than regular Kante for many reasons. Height, skill moves, physicality, dribbling, passing and shooting. Kante is only better at defending and pace. Um, I, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with you. Can, uh, D Dembele would not be the best non-icon CDM in the game at the minute in any way, shape or form in my personal opinion. And that, forget the high-end cards that are non-icons, like a Team of the Year Kante that's not an icon and better than Dembele. Um, but uh, th there are just so many better alternatives out there than that Dembele card, again, f as you say, for many reasons. For example, his weak foot is terrible. His stamina is terrible. You won't even be able to get him until the very end of January. Like, that's another two weeks away. In that amount of time, what kind of cards are they going to release? This promo that comes out on Friday might have a much, much better CDM in the game for a really, really cheap price, and now you've committed to that Dembele. On top of that, I find it so difficult, and correct me if I'm wrong, for, for those of you that aren't Ethan... Correct me if I'm wrong in my line of thinking here, but you can't say that Dembele will be the best non-icon CDM in the game and then say Kante is only better than him at defending and pace, which are the pivotal things in a CDM. you like, oh man, Kante's really fast and really great at defending, but he's not the best CDM in the game because he doesn't have the skill moves and he doesn't have the dribbling and he doesn't have the passing and shoot. Like, that's just crazy to me. He's not a creative attacking midfielder. If he was a creative attacking midfielder, I'd say, yeah, you, you raise a valid point. But he's a defensive midfielder. Pace and defending are kind of the... Uh, the most important factors in what he can do. Um, and also, Kante has medium-high work rates. Dembele has medium-medium. Whilst I don't necessarily think that's like a massive thing to debate over as we score another headed goal there. Uh, yeah, whilst I don't necessarily think that's a massive thing to debate over, it still has some effect, some impact. You know what I mean? So uh, that, that's my opinion. And another header there. Look at this. This oh, It's incredible. It's crazy. Um, Sean says, why are you praying for Courtois when you sold him willingly? Yeah, I mean, if I, if I knew back then what would happen with this account, I would never have sold him. I sold him at the time because, f first and foremost, I, I had played with Lloris a bit and he was okay. Only after playing with Lloris for an extended period of time, did I realize, whoa, actually, his height is a big issue when coming up against people that understand how to play this game. Uh, for that reason, I, I have already immediately re regretted it. Um, the main reason why I sold him is because I just thought his price, I thought his card was just extremely expensive for the time that, uh, you know, for, for the time that I packed it or the, the, the time that I had it. And, and I sold it for about 270, I believe. It's fluctuated since then between 250 and 300. Right now, it's down at 240. Um, I would obviously, I, I didn't need the coins, you know, I sold him before I packed Hullet. If I'd have packed Hullet before I sold Courtois, I would never have sold Courtois because there would have been a genuinely no good reason for the coins in the bank. Um, so yeah, I made, made a mistake on that one, definitely. Um, but that's part and parcel of the series. What's really funny is as well is that I've said to you guys for the last kind of two, two months or so, one of my biggest regrets in this series was not completing Player of the Month, Eden Hazard. Now, as luck would have it, I'm actually delighted that I didn't complete Player of the Month, Eden Hazard. Because if I did, did complete him, I would never have got George Best. And George Best is sensational. So, although right now I'm thinking to myself, man, I wish I never got rid of Courtois. I'm actually glad that I go through the hardships that I go through with this account, with making those mistakes. Because it, it tends to just lead to better things long term. So, I'm really, really happy... Um, with uh, the decision to sell Hullet. I'm really, really happy with the decision now to not have got rid of, uh, sorry, to not have got player of the month Hazard. Although he might have had a good positive impact for me early days, um, look at where the account has got to. And, and who knows, if I would have got Hazard early, maybe in the stars it would have been a bit different and I never would have packed Hullet and I never would have packed Bale and I never would have packed another player or another player and, and we wouldn't be anywhere near the kind of team that we're at now because we've just focused our attentions around Hazard so much. Um, CCTV says, just play Aubameyang, he's the best for you and then full came on De Bruyne and Aubameyang himself, he's better than Ibra to play with. Uh, I mean, the last part of that comment is debatable. Uh, I think that's the opinion of the person that's playing the game rather than anything else. If you like Aubameyang more than Ibrahimovic, that's absolutely fantastic. But I completed Casillas and Ibra because they're fun, really cool flashback cards. 
I don't want to just complete them, throw them on the bench and then never really use them, maybe bring them on for a sub here or there. I don't want to do that. So even if it costs me a few games right now, I just want to experience them, just want to play with them, learn them, find out whether or not they are going to be great or not. And then as soon as I want to, I could put Lloris back in goal or Asenjo back in goal and I can put uh, Aubameyang or anybody really that I want, Lacazette or whoever the hell I, I decide to put up front, um, I could put them up front. And lo and behold, we will have ourselves a full chem team. But you can see by the way I'm playing, having best off chem, Ibra off chem, Varane off chem, and Court, um, Casillas off chem, it hasn't had a negative impact on how I'm playing this game. I'm I'm demolishing everybody. Like I'm I'm not just scraping wins. I'm absolutely slaughtering everybody that I'm playing here. And I came up against some great teams and some very strong players in this this weekend league stint. It's a shame I left starting my games till so late because I got to 11 wins, uh, which was really good. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at with that. Aman Deep says, is it possible to do icon craft with just the two player only packs? I mean, it's possible, but you would have to have extreme luck. I mean, you would have to hit 83s or higher out of every single two player pack and that will just never happen. Um, so ultimately the answer is no. And the last comment that I got was from Michael. He says, Nepo, just wondering what was the point in doing Rivaldo if you were going to put him back into best? You should have just put Costa into best and saved time and money. Also, if you want to use Rivaldo in the future, you can't. Just wondering on your thought process and keep up the good videos. So I completed all of Rivaldo's SBC except for the icon section through the upgrade packs. I got so many duplicate 83, 84, 85s. He only required an 83, 84, 85 team. The world class, the humble beginnings and the silver squad. Um, so basically, I was just left with a point where all I needed was the icon to get him. So if I put Rui Costa into George Best first and foremost... I've now just missed out on completing the icon and getting the ultimate pack for completing him for no good reason. That's why I did it. So that, guys, is going to be the end of the video. 11 wins on the board. Lots of stuff to do this week. This is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.